Hello, in this video, I am going to explain the concept of debt settlement. So debt settlement is when you basically negotiate with the creditor, the person you owe the money to. So let's say if it's a bank, that usually is the case. And debt settlement is usually used on loans such as credit cards, usually, usually credit card debt. And it is for debt that isn't backed by an asset, backed by an asset search as. So, so the ones that are valid are like credit card. I mean, really that's the one I can think of the top of my head, but the ones that aren't in, that are invalid is mortgage because it's backed by a you know it's backed by the house a student loan is also not valid i mean technically it's not backed by an asset you might argue that it's backed by your education that you've gone through but student loan is not valid either so debt settlement is so let, actually, let me explain what debt settlement is now so debt settlement i'm going to use different color is you negotiating with your creator, usually the bank, on a lower amount to pay. You might think, oh, that's great. If I've got debt, let's just negotiate with them. It's not quite that simple. So the way it would work is you would put money into a pot. You would usually use, you wouldn't do this yourself. You would usually use a debt settlement company that specifically knows what to do and know that to handle this. So let's say if you owe the bank one, let's say 10,000 pounds, it could be dollars, it could be any currency, doesn't matter, 10,000 pounds, and let's say every single month, you usually put into the bank's pot, you would, uh, what, that one, that one did not end up well. Usually every month you give the bank one thousand pound so not factoring in interest you would have it paid off in 10 months but with interest it'll be a little bit longer let's just say it's still 10 months plus you'll have the, the lobby interest so it's one thousand and something if you're making your payments on time the bank is not going to settle with you the bank will only settle if they believe that you are unlikely to pay if you are behind on your payments unlikely to pay if you are behind on your payment, you can speak to a settlement company and negotiate with them. And instead of paying, so let's say if this is Bob, and what he was doing was, he was actually paying to this company into the bank instead of paying directly to the bank you could create a little pot a little savings account with the debt settlement company so dsc for short and let's say every month you whack in let's just say half 500 500 of that the debt settlement company we negotiate will negotiate with the bank or whoever the creditor is again usually a bank usually credit cards on a lower amount if the bank agrees let's say the bank says you only have to pay them um, five thousand pounds you will have to keep paying into the dsc's pot the savings account until you reach the five thousand plus any interest that you know is agreed upon plus a fee as well because that's what the dsc do it for so let's say it's the principal plus one thousand pound fee in that scenario you would keep paying into the bank account for 12 months and you will have paid off a ten thousand pound loan with only 500 times by 12 which is six thousand pounds but again you can't just immediately do this it's only if you haven't been making payments so you have one or two options you haven't been making payments because you genuinely cannot make the payments then you can approach a debt settlement company 
uh, you can just google it if you're actually in that situation and they can discuss with you if it's practical or what i've read people do again i'm not advocating this i'm not a big ad advocator of debt in general outside of what people some people like to call good debt let's say if you buy a property you get mortgage on then you rent it out that could be a form of good debt but i'm not a big advocate of debt in general you should you know live within your means i believe but what you could do what i read some people do is they stop making payments even though they can actively make payment put it into a savings account they're behind on their payments they then negotiate with a debt settlement company and because ultimately if the debt settlement company believes that they can lower the debt they'll get at, and they think you'll be able to make those payments at least they'll get a fee so that's their incentive to do it one the problem with this scenario again i'm not advocating it is this you may not get the debt settlement company to actually do this and agree with the bank so then you are behind on payments and as a result you will have extra fees because of interest top of that you will get debt collectors that will most likely have been trying to get the money off you so you've got all of that stress and hassle to deal with as well the debt settlement is not a thing to be taken lightly if you are in debt recommend paying it in full and ideally try not to get into debt that's it simple concept really important to understand especially if you are in the scenario We've got a Discord group where there's finance channels and all programming design and all that stuff. If you have any questions, if you're in this sort of situation as well, feel free to message on the Discord group and I'm sure we can assist you and you know, etc. etc. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.